Hi, this is USD card and today it's Sunday 18th of May 2014 and we are looking at the daily time frame of the pair before the markets open for the new trading week. I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video case study for Forex ID Academy members. I'm using Ichimoku Kinkohio, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. Looking at the pair from the daily time frame, we see that uh, uh, there is not an ideal um, uh, time point to enter short um, theoretically, because the ideal time point would be on the upper border band, here or here. But if we go to the weekly time frame, we'll see that uh, there is a strong bearish uh, mood for the pair and stochastics are curved downwards, are angled downwards and on the monthly time frame although uh, biases, uh, the main biases are bullish uh, we see that the pair is in a corrective plunge. Uh, it seeks statistical validation approaching the median Bolger band. It may not reach exactly the median Bolger band. It may stop somewhere here, but here uh, the, the, the price level will be, let me insert a line, at 1.0 563 which is almost 300 pips lower than where it is and even if it doesn't go here and stops here still there is uh, space for, for nice profits if we take the downward direction if we, we go for a short trade now I will remove the line and I will go back to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame we see bearish mood, uh, stochastics show that, although all biases are bullish. The pair is in a bearish mood for now, obviously this is a correction. Uh, if we use Fibonacci from the latest wave, we see that it hasn't gone down to 50 Fibonacci level or even to 61.8 which is more uh, even more possible so at least till 50 there is some space for profits on the weekly time frame so I will remove Fibonacci levels from, from here and I will go to daily now, on the daily time frame, we see that stochastics are curved downwards and the pair falls, keeps falling, and um, we can use uh, my favorite four time frame Sichimoku strategy, uh, starting from the fresh uh, bearish price and concern cross on the highest time frame and since we missed we missed it on the weekly we can say that we we are okay on the daily we just had this bearish price and concern cross here so we go to H4 looking for a strong bearish Kumo breakout which has happened and it has been validated by Chikuspan also then we go to H1 looking for 100% bearish picture which we see here and we go to M30 looking for a correction so on M30 we wait to see a strong bullish price and consent cross uh, the price will go up for a while and 
when we have a bearish price Tenkan-sen cross, Tenkan-sen is the red line of Ichimoku Ginkgo Hyo system, okay? When we have a bearish price Tenkan-sen cross, when we see a bearish candlestick after the bullish correction, uh, cross closing, crossing and closing below Tenkan-sen, followed by a bearish candlestick, we enter short. Okay, I repeat, four time frame strategy, starting from daily. On daily we had a fresh bearish price and consent cross. On H4 we had a bearish Kumo breakout validated by Chikuspan which goes below past price action and below the Kumo. On H1 100% bearish picture. On M30 this is the only condition we wait to be met because it's not met yet. If it is not met we don't enter we stay out. So we wait to see a correction on a bullish correction on the M30. We want to see a strong bullish candlestick crossing and closing above Tenkan-sen, then followed by a couple or more candlesticks going up and when probably they may uh, the correction may finish above uh, medium Bolger band on the uh, M30 or it may even approach the upper Bollinger band on M30. We wait. So when it finishes on the medium Bollinger band or on the upper Bollinger band and we see a bearish uh, move and we have a bearish price and consent cross on M30, we enter short and continue riding the downward move. Thanks for watching and happy pips.